Hello and welcome to this June 23rd, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you with today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Today we're featuring uh, Discovery Communications, ticker symbol DISCK. This is about an $11.2 billion uh, media and global entertainment company. Taking a look at the chart, actually, not a whole lot here that uh, not to like uh, when you just take a look at where we've been. Um, when the market topped in late April, early May, we did pull back, but we've been able to make our way all the way back up to test the recent highs. So I guess the question is, why would we think about shorting this stock? Well, there's a couple reasons. Number one, there's a very, very big resistance area that we've now failed at two consecutive days, right at about the 3360, 3370, 3375 area. So that's a big resistance area. Note that off of this uptrend over the last couple of weeks, we put in this shooting star candle where we gapped up. We traded intraday well above the resistance area and then failed to hold it on the close, coming all the way back down, closing beneath resistance. Uh, so we didn't get the breakout and notice that the volume, this was on uh, uh, Friday, you can see that the volume had actually picked up quite a bit Friday on that failure. And then on Monday, we actually gapped up above resistance at the open and came down and failed once again, this time printing a bearish engulfing candle. So we've got two consecutive reversing candles. First the shooting star, then the bearish engulfing candle and both of these occurring right at a key long-term price resistance area. So if the stock is to pull back, we certainly feel like this is an area that it would do so. And with those bearish uh, reversing candlesticks in play, you can consider a long, or excuse me, a, a short position with a fairly tight closing stop. If uh, uh, DISCK were to close above $34 with increasing volume, that certainly would take us out of our short position if we were in it. The other possibility here is that we could be getting into a sideways consolidation pattern. This, this is the second high up around the 3360, uh, 3380 area, but notice there have been multiple lows down between 29 and 30 that have held on the downside. So after this nice move up from 25 to almost into the mid 30s, it could be that we're just going to continue to consolidate here sideways for a while. And if that's the case, shorting at this resistance area would seem to make sense. Anytime we see these types of reversing candles, uh, we always like to see the heavy volume confirm the, uh, the reversal. Gives us a sense that uh, the false breakouts may have triggered some short selling on the part of market makers. And as a result, we may get some additional selling in the near term so that they can distribute their shares um, the shares, the short shares, in other words, cover when uh, others are, are selling. So if we start to move back down, those who bought in the 33s and 34s, if we start heading back toward 32, 31, those will begin to sell, and that will give market makers an opportunity, opportunity to cover any short positions that they may have taken. One uh, word of caution here from a short perspective, this MACD looks about as good as it could look. Um, coming off of the center line, actually just below the center line, a huge move up. MACD pointing straight up. So if we do break out, you want to respect this uh, area of resistance and respect that MACD, which is suggesting that the bulls still have control here. So at the, in the near term, what I'd be looking for is maybe a quick pullback. Um, don't be afraid to take some pretty uh, small profits if you get back to, say, the 20-day moving average. And if the stock... Um, were to move back up after that, we might see a negative divergence, and that could create a little bit more weakness in the near term. We'll just have to see how it develops. But the big thing here is that there were two big reversing candlesticks, heavy volume, and that could lead to some short-term weakness. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter and have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.